I have a 28 year old with vertigo and low back pain from Minnesota. He's come a long ways because massage and lots of chiropractors has let him down. It's affected him so much that he doesn't even have a personal life anymore and his work is suffering. X-rays reveal a worn out atlas and structural issues that I can fix. But treatment alone is not the only issue with this young man. He's having trouble with his bad habits. So let's jump right in and check out a story. So my name is Fahad and I'm 28 and I do uh, software engineering. Mainly vertigo and lower back pain. Gotcha. And the vertigo has been going on for how long? For about four years. Well, it's kind of affecting my job so I can't really work properly. Um, I have to actually sometimes lay in bed and work. I feel this sometimes while I'm sleeping. I was kind of going out, I just, I'm always home because you know, I just feel like I'm about to pass out. To be okay, so tell us about your low back pain. How does that uh, affect your life? What is that going on there? Um, well, I can't sleep because Cause he's he, bad too. he has hurts. So I just like, sometimes sleep in my stomach. And so you've tried to optimize your workstation. So, and he's had lots of people. He probably has gone down and probably spent a lot of money on this. Yep. And probably got done a lot of YouTube videos because he's like, this is my job, right? Yep. And but no help. Um, he has a radical constipation. Uh, only goes once or twice a week. And he has to like force it to go. Frequent urination when he sleeps. He wakes up all the time. Yep. He has heartburn twice a month. He has anxiety, really bad anxiety for his whole life. Depression has set in the last um, four five years. years, four or five years four since he started years. working. Yeah. And so that's twice a month, he says. And so you tried chiropractors. I wonder about the chiropractors. Oh, and it is terrible. <laughs> gotcha. What do they do for you there? I mean, mainly they just do the same, you know, method, just, you know, lay you down and they just crack everything. Gotcha. And it shouldn't take like two minutes. And so he went to New York when he was back in New York and he went to a Gonstead guy. So apparently <laughs> he met you before and, you know, like he didn't like your personality. Like he thought you were a little arrogant. Um, so. <laughs> Kind of help, like you know, kind of reduce the pain from eight to four. Gotcha. Um, but still there, I do feel it sometimes. So it's not really clear completely. Yeah. And I still have the dizziness because I went for the dizziness and it. it. All right. Oh my gosh! Yes. Any back pain? Back there. Yeah. Gotcha. This one. Just a tiny bit. Gotcha. I'm pushing your neck now. Tell me what you feel. Okay. More here. Oh my goodness. Or more here. Oh. Left. Left. Let me know if you feel a difference between one side or the other. Okay. Now that we took them, let's take a look. 11 millimeter right imbalance and 12 millimeter lower right shoulder. Here we have a 10 degree spinal curvature, 5 millimeter right short leg. Here we have high neck reversal, pretty good one, and a one third atlas wear. Here we have slight sway back, but really significant constipation. So, uh, what are some first impressions of Dr. Thayer? Um, he's very knowledgeable, he knows what he's doing, um, he gives you, um, you know, a lot of good instructions on how to maintain things. Okay. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel about uh, his process of learning and uh, getting treated at the same time? Um, I think, you know, having those classes um, that he does is very important, it's almost as important as the adjustments. It's what actually keep the adjustment intact, um, so they kind of coexist together, have them both together. Very right, cool. So, do you think this is really going to work for you? I think it will. And actually, it's it's working right now. So, yeah. All right, good. Um, so I had a lot of release um, in my left shoulder. Um, I felt relaxed, floating, almost all day, just walking with like less tension. Um, had a great sleep. Tell us about the uh, change and how you felt the release in your left shoulder, sir. So I was just walking and I felt like it was um, like my shoulder been tied up for, for years. And then um, right after walking, it just felt like it's been released and slowly it's like a little like liquid has been released. Liquid, yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah, it feels weird, but yeah. So I have to ask you a question. Yes. So uh, how do you like Southern California compared to New York? <laughs> well, I love the weather. The weather, yeah. And the people are very chill. We're, we're chill out here. Yeah, yeah. That's I know they're high or something. And yeah. he's out here doing our uh, during our riots right now, and so he's oh, saying yeah. everybody's chill. Yeah, hey, pretty chill. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Shit is burning in our city right now. Yeah. People, people are breaking windows. Goes. It's really chill down here. <laughs> Good. Oh wow. Ooh. How was that different sir than yesterday? It's more intense. Even deeper, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Deeper and 
I like to tell everybody. To I'm sorry? Can I spread to my body? Like, yeah, spread through your body. You yeah. said that yesterday, but even more, right? Yeah, it's more. God, it's tight in the side. Oh, yeah, I can feel it. I said that yesterday, too, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Wow, right there. Good. Yeah. You're left handed? Yes. Yeah, man, he's left handed. Again, his left side is really tight. Left handed, left handed people are not dominant side hand people you usually have more issues on that side. It doesn't have to be exactly that way, but again, you just use that side dominantly and so it'll cause more tension. More tension will cause more imbalance. So, I'm curious, give them kind of an idea of what we're going through. Besides um, just learning. It's, it's, um, it's what do you new feel? and because like you've been, you know, kind of brought up learning something and then you come here and you see something completely different, kind of a uh, different way of moving, walking, yeah. um, you know, posture and all that. Yeah. It's kind of different. Uh, vertigo man. Um, Still gone? Haven't completely? had it. Yeah, haven't had it. Yeah. And you didn't, you made a comment to me after the last adjustment. You said, um, your brain fog. Oh yeah. Um, feels like just, feels great. <laughs> Good. Still scared though. Yeah, no. <laughs> still scared, even though he believes he's still scared. You can see his eyes flicker in there. Wow. Right now, I'm trying to break up scar tissue, guys, too. When we do things long enough, our body builds up scar tissue, and that scar tissue maintains a position, be it good or bad. So, if we're going to change wow. this physical structure, we're going to change the. Scar tissue, right? That's crazy. Tell us the big one. Uh, sitting. Sitting how? So, uh, yeah, go ahead and show, show us. Yeah, show us. We can all laugh. You guys can laugh, by the way. So I have my laptop right here. On the bed. It was on the bed, not on this table. But right. at, the at the hotel. Right. Yeah. About that far nice. away, too? Yeah, about that. And it was a little higher? So should yeah, look a little higher. So my neck like this. Yeah. And how long did you do that for? 10 minutes, 20 minutes? Probably an hour. <laughs> Roughly. Okay. Give or take. And so tell us the symptom you had after doing that. Um, I had a, a minor vertigo and a lower back pain. So you are the classic case here, and yeah. the classic case is this, is that when people start to feel better, they stop listening to me. Exactly. Yeah. And so you're probably, I'm going to guess, you can tell me if I'm right or wrong, you're 60-70% better than when you came in. If you left right now, you'd be really, really happy, right? And you'd leave me a great review, and you'd be like, shit, this guy's the best. And so that is the error here. The error is that you're got too cocky. Exactly. Yeah. You said it. It's so common that I see it all the time. Good. Yes. Oh. That's biggie biggie, huh? Oh yeah. Biggie biggie. Good. Good. Yeah. So what obstacles have we found in the last couple of days that you've uh, experienced? Um, I would say with pain when I sit. Um, looks, uh, the way I sit is wrong, and the way I lay down also wrong. What are you doing in both these positions? Um, what are you doing? Uh, using my laptop <laughs> and watch hey. things and work sometimes. Yeah, again, but he's on his laptop. His laptop is the killer for him. Yeah. Now I got one more bone to pick with him. Seems like we're good friends right now, and we are. But uh, I asked him to do some things for me. And I keep asking him, and again, and he's not doing it. Maybe and again, suggest. <laughs> and it's not, he's not doing it, okay? Yeah. And so uh, he's, not, he's not doing it out of malice. He's not doing it because he doesn't like me. He's not doing it because he thinks, doesn't think it's going to work. Why don't you listen to me? I'm kind of curious. Give them some kind of idea why. It, I mean, you're not old. Maybe you're dumb. I don't know. You look dumb, but I think you're <laughs> not dumb. But I mean, why don't you listen? I mean, you pay me to do it. I'm just kind of curious because you're a really intelligent guy. And so I want to know what can you tell people out there why you don't do it? Maybe something that you can teach them. Um, after just habits, you know, you just kind of got stuck with your habits. And um, even sometimes you try to do it, but then you just kind of go back to your old habits. Um, What's so hard about, I mean, do I get, get lazy sometimes? I yeah, mean, it's so interesting, yeah. huh? Yeah, it is. Um, even though, like, you know, deep inside you know what to do, but you just get lazy, you know? Yeah.